What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the war room again, and I am again working on my M17 race gun build. This is going to be one of the more exciting episodes because it's a moment of truth episode where uh, we find out if my brass bushing is actually going to be doing its job. And to do that, I've gone ahead and marked the inside of a barrel with my wife's nail polish. And it is on there super thick, um, so I am going to be expecting some sort of contact. And if everything is lined up inside the marker, what we're going to see is the bolt just chip off the thick parts of the paint without really hitting anything around the rim. Now, I am reasonably certain, given how tight I've made that bushing, that it's going to be hitting in the same spot every time. What I don't know is if it's perfectly lined up back to front concentric down the end of the barrel and for that well there's only one way to find out and that's to put the stock barrel that I have clearly marked here into the marker and dry fired a few times now I can hear you guys going don't dry fire your marker it's bad for it I actually want to do a pile of bad things to this marker here close to home so if something were to happen, I'm really not out of playing paintball for a day and heaven forbid if this thing were to explode, the hospital really isn't that far away. So the odds here are that everything's going to be okay. I just uh, like to err on the side of caution sometimes. So here we are, we're gonna dry fire this thing a couple times. Uh, maybe you wanna put, Maybe we want to put a microfiber over here in case some of the internals come flying out and I don't take them in the hand. Okay, here we go. Okay, so now that now that we've exhausted a 13 CI, we are going to take first of all the air source off. Safety first, right? And then we're going to examine the barrel. Let's see what the inside looks like. And if I can't get anything that looks half decent out of the camera, we are going to take some still photos and I will share those with you guys. Okay, so you guys have now actually officially just seen it before I have. And uh, you know what? It is riding so concentric down the center of the barrel that it actually didn't even knock the high spots or the globs of paint the nail polish off. So I'm going to take a couple pictures of this right now using my handy dandy iPhone. Okay, so if I had been a smarter man, and I actually thought about this before I went to shoot this video, I thought we're going to screw the barrel in, and then I'm going to mark the top orientation here, so that if I pull this out, and there is a scratch on here, I can, I can now have a reference point to uh, which way I need to manipulate my marker to properly line it up, but it made zero contact with the inside of the barrel here, which super impresses me. Because, spoiler alert, the reason I wanted to make it absolutely concentric was so that I could run a freak kit on this marker, and I did not want to damage my barrel backs, I think they're called, and uh, I have them in 98 thread for my TMC and Stormer, and I have them in A5 for everything else that I own. So that is pretty cool, right? And as you can see, I've got all of the available inserts. That is why I went round ball only with this open class marker, was so that, you know, I can still remain relatively competitive, because let's face it, um, you're at the mercy of whatever paint the field is running that day for your stock barrel to paint size match, and we all know what happens if you can't match a barrel to the paint size. I mean, I'm sure the people that manufacture these paintball markers, not just Falcon or Melsig or Tipman or some of the other brands out there, you know, First Strike or even the barrel companies, um, one size fits all barrels, 
they tried to hit that median mark with the ID so that you can play paintball wherever. But if you truly want to be a hot rod out on the field, what I've been told is the free kit is the way to go. And that's where we're going with this marker. So there's the conclusion for today. The bushing is an absolute 100% success. It uh, controlled the bolt all the way through. I should probably go through and get a shot count. Um, nope, you know what? We're going to do a shot count later on when I get this thing fully assembled. And spoiler alert, I have all the parts. And as soon as I'm done making this video, that is exactly what I'm going to be doing. And I can't wait to share that photo with you guys on the social media. So if you're not a member of the Millsig Owners Group on Facebook, go ahead and join that. You can also find pictures on the Paintball Uncensored app underneath the category Tech Tent where I like to hang out. And uh, obviously, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel, Mac Tactical, because this is where I'm going to be hosting the video for uh, our shoot. We're going to go and do some uh, groupings possibly later today if I can get out. If I can't, I'm going to see you guys at Assault the Asylum on PRZ the 14th of August and beyond that the race gun is definitely coming to Wasaga for odder things too. Don't get on the wrong end of it baby. Thank you for watching this episode of Mech Tactical. You guys are amazing and I will see you again the very next time.